Hey Libra gang gang, you guys, welcome to Real Love Tarot with Renee. I greatly appreciate you guys tuning in to Real Love Tarot. I'm so grateful for all your support, love. Like, share, subscribe is helping my channel grow and I just want to thank you guys personally. So thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're new to Real Love Tarot with Renee, you guys, welcome. You are welcome here. Cross watchers, you're welcome here, okay? Make sure you guys hit the like, share, subscribe button. When you come in to watch the video, I greatly appreciate it, okay? You guys, I'm going to put the camera down so that I can focus on your reading. And let's get into it. I got my eyes are a little red, but I'm so tired. I've been up like all day working. Oh my gosh, okay? So let me put this camera down for you guys. And let's focus on your reading, you guys. I'm so grateful for you guys to be here. I know, I was like, Renee, show it her face. Here she is. <laughs> right yes i am showing my face but not during this reading because it's so distracting okay you guys you know there's no gender in tarot okay so I only take what resonates and leave the rest okay and you know my model if it doesn't fit you must acquit all right i want to get the general um energy for libras in love okay because um i'm kind of curious to where your energy has is like um i know you guys have been um if you're um been watching the channel and you know this is your story you've been waiting on uh, some of you guys have been waiting for the person to come back um trying to figure out what their energy is what they're going through um don't worry guys too those um readings uh, those personal readings are coming i'm just trying to make sure that everything is online for you guys um i'm trying to get that information out to you guys um in the community board um hopefully by the end of this week i am diligently working on it okay so don't worry i'm gonna read these in the upright they not in the reverse because this is just the energies okay all right so you guys um spirit is telling you guys to hold on to your vision okay fixed moon and confidence is uh your key to success right new moon in leo Okay, could be dealing with the Leo. A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. Yo, yo, yo. Libra gang, gang, that's you, babies. Yeah. And luck is in your side. New moon in Sagittarius, right? Or you could be dealing with the Sagittarius, baby. Let's get into it. Any more messages, Spirit, for the moon? This is the Moonology Oracle cards, by the way, guys. You can find this link in under my description box below. Yeah, I just want to see what the current energy is overall. Thank you. It says, what you, what do you need to release? Wayne Moon, right? So some of you guys need to release something in order for something to move forward or come in for you. And uh, Spirit is saying, don't let pride get in your way, full moon and Leo. You guys could be dealing with the Leo. Fire energy, any more message? Well, okay. I guess there is some more messages, Spirit said. Okay. Take time to breathe out, disseminating moon. Yeah, you guys are like, it's, it's it's high intensity, okay? Yeah, because you're looking for answers. And Spirit is saying the answers you need are coming. Full moon and Gemini, they're coming, okay? And your commitment is being tested right now. And first quarter moon, right? Yeah, and your hard work is paying off. New moon and Capricorn, okay? Could so be dealing with the Capricorn. Thank you, Spirit, for those messages, for the current energy, for Libras and love. All right, let's see here. All right, also, too, I want to see um, what other message we have. These are the romance oracle messages. So, yeah, let's see what uh, woo -hoo, Spirit is saying. Yeah, I just want to get some new energy here because I'm tired of y'all being sad, <laughs> waiting on this person. But a lot of you guys are letting this person go, okay? And you're focusing on finances and career. And it says financial issues are a factor in your love life right now, right? So this could be a blockage for either you or your person and why they may not be coming in. If you're dealing with someone who you're still waiting on and they haven't arrived yet, that could be an issue. And this could be the one. You're already met the uh, romantic partner you seek. You got okay so is there new love give me more spirit <laughs> what's going on with my libra zebras yes yeah that this your soulmate hello yeah yes this is your soulmate okay all right so let me find out y'all that y'all moved on and y'all you know got you some new love popping off yeah past life relationship you have known each other before Oh, any more messages, Spirit? Any more messages for Libras in love? Any more me Oh, there they are. Okay, I'm going to leave them at that too. Okay, and I'm taking, look, Spirit gossiping. 
but I'm taking them because y'all be like, let spirit gossip. Let spirit gossip. Okay, well, here goes spirit. <laughs> spirit is saying, yeah, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Yeah, for whoever you're dealing with, okay? And it says, give your relationship a chance. Um, you work on your partnership. So for some of you guys, you really do need to work on your partnership, right? A lot of you are not in um, union with your person, but Spirit is saying you guys need to go ahead and start getting that popping, okay? The class watcher, this could be for you. Yeah, mm-hmm. And they're saying very soon, clearly decide what you want. So that comes to you now. So this is your person, Libra, and you know you want them. And this is the same one you've been watching these readings over. You better make sure that's who you want. Yeah, because you could be healing family issues. Your love life benefits when you forgive your parents, right? So some of you guys are dealing with past traumatic issues stemming from your childhood. And you need to heal those wounds, right? And for a lot of you guys, well, not maybe a lot of you, but some of you guys, religious factors um, is an issue here. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Yeah, right? Which is making it difficult for you guys to come into union with your a lot of your um you know, a lot of you guys are having issues coming in with your person. And Spirit is also telling you to keep an open mind, okay? It says your soulmate may differ from your usual uh, type and expectations, okay? So, yeah. And then we have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Yeah, because some of you guys have decided to move on. And you, their love isn't there no more. It's over. You, you're like, you don't even feel the same anymore. You want to let it go. Thank you, Spirit, for those messages for Libras in love. All right, you guys, let's get into some tarot for you guys. Let's do it. All right, let me shake them up, shake them up. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. look on the bottom. The Emperor. Wow. I'm going to keep them in there, see if he pops out later. Yeah. Let's see. Let's get into it. Libra gang, gang. Hope you guys had an amazing weekend since our last uh, reading. Okay. Let's see. Let's get into it. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, please give me honest messages for the sign of Libra and love. What's going on with my Libras? What's going on with my babies? Oh, yes. Today is June 15th, 2021. Let's get into it. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. One more, Spirit. Thank you. Okay. Mm, we got the three of pentacles, right? So somebody wants to work together, right? Somebody wants to collaborate and work with you. Yeah, this king of pentacles, mm -hmm, he wants to come in and possibly give you an offer of some sort. But this is like a supportive, um, this is a, 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 a very, the king of of uh, pinnacles, um, excuse me, not supportive, but they're supportive, but they want to bring in a solid offer. This is this person, this king of pinnacles, is like a leader, right? And they also invest in their relationships as well, right? Look at look, <laughs> we got the four pinnacles here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody wants long term security and stability with you. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, okay, yeah, with the high priestess. Yeah, and you're highly intuitive about this, right? You may have, you could be dealing with the new person that's in your energy, if that's what I'm thinking. That's King of Pentacles that wants to work with you. Could be a past person, um, but I don't know why I'm feeling new energy. Yeah, right? Thank you, Spirit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Somebody wants to come in with the Nine of Cups. Yeah. Yeah, with abundance. Somebody's wishing for material wealth and health with you. Good and like, you know, long term stability. Yes. Thank you, Spirit. Give me one more. Give me one more for labors and love. Yeah, I'm feeling this is new energy. Yeah, because some of you, like like it said, some of you guys is it wasn't enough. Um uh, it wasn't requited um, before, right? But for some of you guys, if this is new love, spirit did say that this could be the one. Yep, this could be the one. Give me one more spirit for Libras in love. I like this new energy. Thank you, spirit. Yes, I like this new energy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Judgment. Okay. Somebody wants to come in with, with some type of truth, possibly. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, somebody probably wants to come in with some type of truth. And um, hold on, guys. Some type of clarity. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, I'm not going to clarify with these. Let me go into you guys. Dun, 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 you know your favorite deck of all time. <laughs> Let me just put these here. Put them just like out of the way for a second so they're not cluttering. I'm in my vanity, you guys. You know, I'll be moving around. <laughs> right? I'm in my vanity, right? Yeah, and the Spirit is saying the choice is always yours, okay? Yeah, so somebody wants to work together with you, right? Clarify um, the Three of Pentacles. Um Hold on just a second. I'm just kind of moving them out so I can have enough room. Yeah, clarify the three pinnacle spirit. Yeah, somebody wants to collaborate with you for sure. Clarify the three pinnacles. Oh, now, spirit. Now, you know that's too many. Thank you, spirit. Yeah. Oh, it could be the Sagittarius that wants to work with you. Thank you, Spirit, for that clarification. Yep. Yeah. And they're accepting this connection for what it is. Wow. Okay. Who's the King of Pentacles? Who's the King of Pentacles? Clarify the King of Pentacles, Spirit. Thank you. Yeah, your messenger speak your truth. Yeah. This, yeah, so this King of Pentacles probably wants to come in with a message for you. Yeah. And, get, and give you some type of truth of maybe how they're feeling um, about you and this connection. Oh, somebody wants a rebirth. Yeah, it could be the Sagittarius that just popped out. Mm. Thank you, Spirit. That's who, yeah, they want to come in and ask for a restart with you. Yeah. Clarify the uh, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this Aries possibly. More fire sign. Wow. Give me more for the uh, Four of Pentacles. Thank, thank you, Spirit. The Empress. Absolutely. So this person, um, they want long-term long -term stability. That's your energy, Libra energy. Yes, they want to come in for their Empress. Yeah. They want to get this. They want long-term stability with their Empress. That's you. Wow. Thank you, Spirit. What's the high, what's the high Priestess? Yeah, what's... Because something's coming to an end. Yeah, somebody's really intuitive about this, right? I'm covering her boobs on purpose. <laughs> but uh, I'm not approved. It's just you two. Um, yeah, something's coming to a complete end. With, with And somebody... some There's some secrets that's going to come out and a truth is going to be revealed, right? But something is about to end so something new could come in. It could be a new person. Yep. Mm-hmm. And, um, well, let's just see. Now, Spirit, that's too many. You know, you already know. Spirit is already starting with the gossiping, y'all. Give me more, Spirit. Give me more. What's the world card? What's the world? Uh-huh. Look, look. Truth flipped over. Thank you. Yep. Uh-huh. Did I say there was something? Some truth has to come in because something is hidden, right? With the high priestess, some secrets. Yeah, the truth is about to come out. Or whatever secrets that was hidden, or whatever with this high priestess energy. Yeah, the truth is about to come out. Thank you, spirit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, clarify uh, the nine of cups. What's the nine of cups, spirit? Yeah, somebody wants abundance with you. That's probably the truth. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody's about to take a leap of faith. Could be this cancer. Thank you, Spirit. Yep. This Cancer wants to come in with the Nine of Cups, right? With the full card. Okay? Yeah. So this is telling me, too, that um, there's some new hope or whatever. Somebody wants to take a chance and move forward with you and start this new beginning. Yeah. So they're ending something with the World card. So there's something's ending, so something new can begin. And it's with you, the Empress. Thank you, Spirit. What's the full? No. Not yet. What's judgment? Thank you. You're beginning to realize who you are. Yes, indeed. Yeah. What's judgment? What's this truth? What's the truth? Mm -hmm. And also, too, your person, you're your person. Somebody in this connection, there's clearly, um, like I said, you know, you guys aren't in communication with your person or whatever could be dealing with this Virgo. Maybe there's a Virgo involved in this connection, right? Um, but somebody is dealing, could be dealing with karma or they're coming in to, to tell some type of truth. Okay. Yeah, somebody's um also um has some type of clarity about this connection, right? But some of you guys are really wanting to walk away and because you're tired of waiting, right? But spirit is saying to stay focused and remember why you started in the first place, right? Like not to really give up just yet. Like don't do it because your person is coming in. This could also be your energy. You wanting to move forward towards your person, Libra. Take it out resonates. Cross watcher. If this is you, let me know in the comment field below. 
Thank you, Spirit. What's going on here? Yeah, you could be dealing with the Gemini. Uh-huh. Give me more. Who's, who's the fool? <laughs> who's the fool in this connection? Who be acting a fool? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> yeah, who's coming towards Libra? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. It says, argue for your limitations and you get to keep them. Yeah. Somebody is coming towards you with a message. That's what that is. Yeah, but you guys are mirroring each other. The mirror effect is here. Yeah, so it's like you guys are still in this stuck energy and you're, you or your person, somebody's grounding themselves. Yeah. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Yep. Somebody's grounding themselves with the earth energy. Thank you, spirit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this hierophant. Somebody, yeah, religious, and, it, and that came out, religious uh, beliefs could be a factor in this issue. And whatever that, um, whatever that is for you, somebody has had a change of heart and they've gotten some new found clarity or whatever, right? Or this could also be lessons learned, right? Yeah, that's what that's telling me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so all ways of thinking or whatever, could be, and that could be, that could have been a blockage in this connection. Yeah. Yeah. Clarify rebirth. Clarify rebirth. Don't worry, y'all. I'm going to definitely go into the hood cards. Yeah. Uh-huh. That they want to come in with the apology. Thank you, Spirit. Double clar clarification. There's Jada, y'all. Yeah, because the will is turning in your favor, Libra. Your person I'm gathering to is very anxious uh, to come in and and start working with you and collaborating with you, right? Somebody has been, I could tell, um, even though the Hermit card has not popped out yet, let me see if it does, but um, yeah, the middle way between, um, the middle way, the line between opposite extremes. Um, somebody has um, definitely come to some clarity and they're thinking about this connection completely different now, right? And with this opposite extremes here being here, you guys, there could be extreme, like, like religious factors came out, right? You know, if you guys have different religious beliefs and this causing conflict with you guys um, coming in to union with each other, you know, that's, that's an extreme as well as you could be dealing with, um, your person could, um, you you guys could both there could be like a major uh, excuse me age gap between you guys right and if that's the case um you know if that that's super extreme right because if like it, let's say you're older than your person you know what I'm saying you think more wiser you know what I'm saying in some cases not all because not everybody that's older you know got good sense uh, <laughs> but in a lot of cases you guys you know what I'm saying you're dealing if your person is younger than you they're still going through learning lessons and, and probably lessons that you've already learned. You know what I'm saying? So it's making it difficult for you guys to come together because you guys see things completely different. You're completely opposite of each other, right? You know, hold on. Any more messages, Spirit, before I go into the hood deck for Libras in love? Okay. Oh, not that many, Spirit, but I'm going to take that one. Yeah, could be dealing with the Capricorn Devil energy possibly. Yeah, and no matter what happens outside of myself, I know that I'm safe, right? Okay, all right, I'll take it. Water, somebody's emotional. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, energy. Yeah, you or your person is highly emotional about this connection. Your person wants to come in, they want to fix this, you know, situation with you. And it's difficult, I could tell. It's difficult because there's emotion here, right? They know they got to bring... Um, you know, they, they want to come in toward their empress, but they know that something has to end, has, they, you know, has to end and, and they have to bring in some truth in order to get their empress. They're, they're recognizing this connection now, right? And they want to come in with an apology by repenting for whatever happened in the past. And yeah, they know the will is turning, the will is turning in your favor. Yeah. Yeah. They definitely want this rebirth though. Yeah, and with this four of pentacles, they want long-term stability with you. They want it. They want it bad too. I can feel it in the energy. It's in the it's just it's just strong in the energy, right? Okay, so let me just pull this out. Sagittarius rebirth. We know what we're dealing with here. They want to work together. They want they want them empress. They want them new new. <laughs> That's truly for gang gang. Something gotta come to an end. But they're highly emotional. Mm-hmm. But you know what? You're highly intuitive. So is your person. They know what they need to do, but they're, I feel that they're fearful to possibly come in and do it. 
and it's and it's creating um a lot of problems for them right yeah we just take these out yeah we got the hierophant here that's fine we have earth energy i'm just taking out the um the energies here yeah we got a king of pentacles on the board Mm -hmm. somebody wants to definitely come in and take a leap of faith and take a chance towards this and make an apology right you know offer you something and they know they're gonna have to face judgment some of you guys your person is definitely de dealing with some type of karma could be dealing with this cancer this gemini yeah this virgo yeah but they want to come in with the nine of cups they want that they want the abundance with you right that's the next thing to the ten they want it they really do. All right, let's get into it. Um, let's see. Let me just make sure there's no other messages. Any other messages for Libras in love spirit? Okay. Yeah, there was. Spirits, it's like you wasn't moving a little too, too fast for me. Okay. <laughs> yes. Then I say your person is fearful. They're fearful. They're, they're fearful that if they come in and you don't, and this isn't requited, because it, it already said the card, unrequited love, right? Some of you guys, it won't be requited. That's just the guy's honest truth. Because first of all, your person took too long to come in in the first place when this should have been put to rest a long time ago, right? Spirit is telling you to sacrifice all you need is water, right? Drink some water. Let me do that right now. Because, um... <laughs> look, it is not Christmas. Don't judge me, y'all. <laughs> right? Okay, but your person is making sacrifices towards the uh, relationship. Your person wants to come in and fight for this, right? Because they know justice needs to be served. Libra, that is your energy. You are the justice card. I can't even make it up. Listen. Listen. They know for a fact that they need to come in and tell the truth. Something and and listen. There's gonna be a win-win outcome, but somebody's sacrificing something because they know that justice, and that's why the will is turning. The will, the will is here. Yeah, the will is turning in your favor. Absolutely, something is about to change. Something is about to be illuminated. Mm -hmm. Possibly with this Sagittarius. Yeah, the will is turning in your favor. There's justice, Libra. That's your energy, babies. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. All right. I want to go into the third edition hood deck <laughs> to see what's really popping ten over here. Mm hmm. Oh my goodness, Libra gang, gang, baby cakes. What's popping? Yeah, your person is going through karma. Yep. Yeah, the justice, the justice and the judgment card came out. Yeah, because they know in order for this to, yeah, ooh, they're dealing with a vindictive karmic. Let me just go on and pull it. Yeah, mm-hmm. Listen, you'll be dealing with your ex, first, middle, last, yours or theirs. Some of you guys, your person is walking, you or your person is walking away from this connection because secrets are here. Somebody was wearing a false mask. Yep. Wow. Thank you, spirit. Give me more. Any more? I was just compelled by spirit to pull those. Yeah. Uh huh. Didn't I say hidden secrets? A lot of them. The high priestess card came out earlier. Yeah. And they know that they have to come through or somebody's about to be exposed. This is another energy that I'm getting. Initial Z, first, middle, last. Yeah. Look, karma fell out again. Can't even make it up. Your person is going through karma because of these hidden secrets. Yeah. Yeah. Any more messages, spirit? Give me more messages from the hood deck yes yeah but they're stalking and spying on you mm -hmm. they definitely are listen and some of you guys are your person could be facing jail time this is crazy this has come out in a few ratings what the world are there some type of court situation involved right uh-huh and this could be of surrounding this vindictive freaking um karmic yeah, this person and this karmic, let me tell you, they're probably doing this. They're probably doing any and everything, right? Um, Taking your person through the ringer, even, um, you know, threaten to keep you guys away from each other. If they, they would be satisfied if your person went to jail just so that they couldn't be with you. That's crazy. Yeah, and some of you guys, the secret is you're going to find out that, that either your person or their karmic put a love spell or some type of dark magic over you guys. Either you or your person or both of you guys to keep you guys away from each other. But listen, they're so in love with you. Libra, don't ever doubt for a second that they're not in love with you. They're in love with you. Trust me. 
initials F, first middle last year is it theirs. It's also could be the initials of your karmic, your person's karmic person. Ciao. The stress of it all. Any more messages, spirit? Any more messages? Okay, go ahead, spirit. More. Ooh, yeah. Put an abundance card came out again. Mm hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, somebody was an energy thief in this connection. Child, let me get them. Yeah, and um, yeah, didn't I say they want to repent? An apology is coming. The repentance card came out. Yeah, and look, the blockage for a lot of them has been their ego and pride. I'm going to tell you why, because they know if they have to put their ego and pride aside, that means that they have to accept accountability and responsibility for where they went wrong in the connection. And a lot of them, you guys are in the situation because of their ego and pride and they were wearing a false mask in the first place. If they would have told the truth in the first place and told you guys really what it was, you know what I'm saying? Versus having you go through all this karmic drama, half of this wouldn't even be going on. But they want abundance with you. They, Your person cannot stop thinking about you. I'm telling you. Initials V, T, yep, A, there's that Virgo again. Listen, for sure, double confirmation. Somebody put did dark magic, magic here. Trust me, they did. And it says, no, look, no one loved me the way that you did, period. Yes, with a T, period. <laughs> okay? Yeah, you could be dealing with a Taurus. <laughs> Please. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, somebody's ego and pride got in the way. Somebody, and you know, and your person could have had you all up in, in, in court or whatever. That could be for you too. Take it how it resonates, honey. If this your story, let me know in the comment field. You know, I really want to know what's the get down. Yep. Yeah. Initial C, you could be dealing with. Yep, yeah, there they are. Yeah, first, middle, last. Yeah, but now they want to right their wrongs now. They, they did you wrong in the past, right? Dealing with this gold digger. And now this little gold digger, this little vindictive little karmic, right, is acting a fool with them, taking them through the ringer and probably taking them, at, they probably have all kind of money issues. Chow, listen, any more messages, spirit? Oh, okay, let it, let it fall, let it fall. Okay, I'll take these two. They pick, they picking out. I'll take this one too. They're obsessed over you. Absolutely, they are. And so is the karmic. Don't get it twisted. Yeah, but some of you guys are headed towards new love. That's what the initial spread was. This is a new love. It's, and it could be your past person that's dealing with this karmic, this vindictive karmic, this gold digger, right? But some of you guys, that's brand new love. Initials K, first, middle, last, yours or theirs. Yeah, and they want a relationship or marriage with you. Believe it. Damn. Jealous ass karmic. Acting a fool acting a fool with your person. And probably you too, right? But somebody was manipulative in the past, right? But, but this what you, that's what they went, they, you wanted this jealous karmic. This who you wanted. And they had you in a third party situation, right? But somebody's taking a leap of faith towards this connection. They want to be with you, Libra. Yeah, but this ego and pride is whooping their tail. It's whooping them. It's whooping them. And spirit, I bet you spirit got something to do with this. I wouldn't be surprised. Any more messages, spirit? Any more? Thank you, spirit. Yep, I'll take it. I'll take it. Yep. Whew. Yeah, you could be dealing with initials M, first, middle, last. Yours or theirs. Yeah, something is about to go down within the next 24 to 48 hours. Believe it. Yeah, you're a gift to them. Yeah, it could be dealing with a Scorpio. They don't have this in your chart. Yeah, but they're scared of this connection. Because, again, like they said, nobody else has ever loved them the way that you do. Right? If spirit did not say spirit stepped in. Spirit is in control. Spirit is in control, and you can relax now. Thank you, spirit, for that confirmation. Don't play with her. Yeah, you was dealing with the liar, and they have a mental block. Your per, a lot of you guys, your person has are dealing is dealing with the mental block because of the dark magic and the or the love spell that was placed on them, which is a major issue within them coming forward to you towards you in this connection, right? But they're they're coming. They want they want to fix it with you. Any more messages, spirit? I want to read what your a person has to say to you too. Yeah. Any more messages? I'll take them. 
Yeah, and then I'm going to read what your person wants to say, Libra. Yeah, they want a second chance, baby. They do. I promise you, either you or them, they're in devil energy. Initials are, yeah, first, middle, last, yours or theirs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is, yeah, but they're sacrificing something to come towards you. This vindictive karmic, they over it, and they probably woke up and was like, you know, and realized what's been going on. Like, what the hell? But they know they got to tell you the truth of what's, what's been popping behind the scenes. Let's see what your person has to say to you, okay? This is um, this is the Live uh, Tarot deck, okay? You can find this deck in my description box below. Yeah, I really want to... I'm interested to know what your person has to say about this. Um, your person is, is stressing. Your person is really stressing. And, you know, that devil energy is also blockages, right? Mm -hmm. They could also have be having lustful thoughts over you. Yeah. Yeah, but this is your past person. Yeah. But some of you guys are definitely walking away. And this is what your person is afraid of. That fear card came out earlier. Ooh, Libra gang gang. I know, sweetie guys. It's been a lot. It's just so much, right? You know, but congratulations to congratulations to you guys who are getting this new love that is coming in it's possibly here already yes yeah what does libra's person have to say to them yeah oh a lot <laughs> give me more spirit what does person a uh, libra's person want to say to them regarding this connection yeah because a lot of you guys are not even that's too much spirit like i know they got a lot to say but that's too much um you know, you guys, you know, have been away from your person. You're not talking to them. There's no communication. And if there is communication, as little to none, you could be sneaking to speak to this person, especially if they are still with this vindictive karmic, okay? That's another thing, too. Take it out of resonance, you guys. All right. Yeah, this is quite a bit. So I'm going to read these and let you guys know what your person wants to say, how they're feeling behind the scenes, um, what you don't know, what, you know. Hold on, let me just flip them over. Okay. It says, I'm still trying to find a place for myself in this world. Yeah, your person is lost. Your person is completely lost without you. It says, I have uh, to be in contact with you again. I miss you too much. I miss, yes, your person is coming. They miss you too much. I You see it. I have to be in contact with you again. Like, there's no way. It says, my memories of you haunt me and keep me thinking about uh, what could have been. Yep, they chose wrong. They chose a gold-digging, vindictive karmic to be with over you because it looked probably shiny and gold. Hello. <laughs> yeah, and I feel like I don't know who I am anymore. They don't. They don't. They're so lost without you. It's sickening. Right? It says, I'm resisting my desire for you because it's too late now. We've grown apart and you moved on. Yeah. And that's the truth. A lot of you guys have moved on. You you got tired of waiting. They took too long to come through. Right? And it says, I wonder if you still think about me. How do you feel about me now that um, you've had time to reflect? Mm hmm Yeah. They wonder. And it says, you were my home and now I feel like I'm out in the cold. Absolutely. Your person does feel left out in the cold. Either you or your, but they could have made you feel this way too. And now they're getting their karma because now they're feeling exactly the way they made you feel, right? Oh, child. I know, babies. It's going to be okay. Mm hmm. It's going to be okay. All right. Any more? Okay. Spirit. Okay. They got a little bit more to say. All right. I'm going to go on and read them. I'm going to read them. And, um, yeah, they're saying your silence feels safer to me. I don't want to get hurt again, which is why they're fearful to come in. And this is also what's taking too long. Yeah, they don't want to get hurt again because if they come in and you reject them, they're not going to be able to take that. They love you so much. They really want to be with you. They want they want the abundance with you, right? But they, they messed up so bad. You know, the way things played out, it was so bad. They don't know how to fix it now. And it says, I didn't realize I love you until it was too late. I'm so sorry. Yep. And unrequited came out. Yeah. That this was, and for some of you guys, this is what it was for y'all, right? Yeah. 
A lot of you guys, this is your soulmate, and they realizing this now, but before, it was like unrequited love. They didn't know that they loved you until it was too late. And I was like, damn, I really love Libra, but now you're gone. And now they suffering. And it says, I want to contact our mutual friends to ask about you, right? Mm -hmm. And it says, I settle for second best because I don't deserve you. Woo! Look at that. And then they second best ain't even close to being the best because they're dealing with a vindictive uh, karmic who's taking them through the ringer, a gold digger who's draining them dry of all of their funds and resources. But you was always the one. I can't even make it up. Spirit. Wow. Wow, wow, and wow. Okay, Libra gang gang. Yeah. Yeah, they they know that the way they treated you, they don't deserve to have you. And this is another reason why um, they're not here. Yeah, they feel like they. So a lot of you, you guys, your person is coming. They want to bring this message. They're coming in for you. But for some of you guys, they, they feel like they do not deserve you. Mm -hmm. And this is weighing heavy on them. My goodness. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, please give me honest angel oracle messages for the sign of Libra in love. What should how should Libra uh handle this situation with their person moving forward? Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, I'll take them. Spirit saying compromise. Okay. Yeah, compromise. And things could change from a year a year from now, yeah, because your person is going through it. Yeah, they need they need recovery time, and probably so do you. Yeah, and um and just get you know help from helpful people, right? So if um you need to go to counseling, you know what I'm saying, to talk about any issues, any childhood traumas, and things like that. Um, anything that could be um, an issue um, or a blockage within this relationship and you feel like you need outside support, I strongly suggest that you do that. Yeah. Spirit is saying, yeah, this is yes, though. This is your person. Yeah. It's just taking a little bit longer than, you know, what you initially wanted. And a lot of you guys are just tired of waiting. You got a lot of y'all, y'all don't want to wait a year from now. You're over it because you've already been waiting for a really long time beyond. And, you know, and it's okay. You have free will. You know what I'm saying? Just go live your life. You know, not to say that you can't hold space in your heart for them, just depending on the severity of the situation and how things played out when you guys were last together. Right, Libras? Any more? Thank you, Spirit. I had a feeling that one's going to fall out. Thank you. Okay, yeah. All right. So, Spirit is saying, um, um, ask for help from, from others again. Yeah, if you need, like, you know, close family or friends or somebody that you know who's not going to be biased is going to give you real honest, real good, you know, solid um, advice. Okay? Yeah. And, um, yeah, Spirit is saying yes. And that you need to remain positive. Remain positive, okay? Remain positive and don't stop, right? Don't stop. Keep moving forward, okay? Things is going to unfold, okay? Any more messages, spirit? Any more messages, spirit? Any more messages for leaders in love? For them and their person? That's the last prayer. Any more messages? Thank you. Uh-huh. Yeah, something's going to change in the near future. Hold tight. Spirit is in control. And the Spirit did say for you to relax. They're, they, they're taking the wheel on this. Because this is so deep. This is so deep. And so it's so thick. Right? Okay. But congratulations to you guys who are in new love connections. All right? I want to hear about those in the comment field too. Yeah. Right? We always here for the love, love. Yes. Yeah. And some of you guys, you needed to be a new love connections, right? Because this one, you know, for some of you guys, just wasn't going anywhere. It's just too many, um, 
too many things that happened in the past, you know what I'm saying, that just can't be reconciled. Um, you know, especially if you're dealing with a person with a, a vindictive karmic, right? This um, karmic could be causing you, you know, a lot of strife and stress in your life and you just can't deal with it anymore, right? Everybody's situation is different, so take it how it resonates. Um, so, you know, your storyline is going to play out differently. So if this is your, if, if this is your story, I want to hear that in the comments too, because, um, you know, if you were dealing with a, a, a vindictive karmic, they, you know, showing up to your job, calling your phone, acting a fool, coming to your house, you know what I'm saying? Trying to start fights and stuff like that. I mean, you know, sometimes it get real ghetto, it get real hood. And it's just like, you know what? I'm not going to deal with this, you know? And if your person, you know, was in a position where they... They didn't take control, you know what I'm saying, of the situation and it just got so out of hand or whatever, you know, but then, you know, it, it just got, be, became too much, you know, the police at your house, you know what I'm saying, kids crying in the background. I could just see the whole story playing out right now in my, in my visual, <laughs> right? I, you know, it's just ghetto, it's just a mess and don't nobody have time for that. So a lot of you guys have moved on. But okay, love bugs. Thank you guys for tuning in to Real Love Tower with Renee. I greatly appreciate you guys coming and helping my channel grow. It really does mean so much to me, okay? I'll go ahead and look at you guys, right? <laughs> it really does mean a lot to me, okay? So if you're new to Real Love Tarot, I greatly appreciate you guys. You guys are so welcome here. Thank you for all your likes, um, shares, and subscribes or whatever. If you could please hit the like, share, and subscribe button now so this video can circulate to other Libras out there who is looking for this uh, reading. I greatly appreciate it, okay? All right, babies. Oh, and if you'd like to donate to the channel or continue to, you could do so at Real Love Tarot um, via Cash App. And the link to my Cash App is at the, in the description box below. All right, well, I'm so shiny. Sorry, y'all. Mm. But anyways, bye. Be good. Mm-hmm.